Well, as we, of course, head to the polls to decide on whether to introduce an Indigenous voice to Parliament at a significant cost to the taxpayer, it should be noted, the North Australian Aboriginal Justice Agency is facing allegations of corruption and fraud that the Chief Auditor is refusing to probe because of poor timing. Quote, unquote. Joining me now is Shadow Environment Minister Jonathan Dunningham and Labor MP for Parramatta, Andrew Charlton. Andrew, I know you've been uh, out on the hustings campaigning for the, the yes vote this week. Uh, surely it is odd to say that, well, because there's an issue over here, an allegation of corruption in an Aboriginal organisation, because of everything that's going on at the moment, you know, it's a bad time to be investigating it. Surely anything of this nature ought to be investigated. Oh, good to be with you, Caleb. You know, the important thing on this issue is that the Auditor General is independent of government and makes its decisions about what to investigate independently from government. Of course, the government is aware of the serious concerns that have been raised on this matter, and we're monitoring it closely. But also, this shouldn't take away from the important work that the agency does. This agency is facing into very significant challenges. An Indigenous man, on average, is likely to live a decade less than I am. Uh, Indigenous children are twice as likely to die in infancy and the health and education of Indigenous people is way behind other Australians and way behind where it needs to be. So it's an important agency that does important work, uh, but, of course, we need to take all these allegations very seriously. Yeah, I mean, we get all of that, but, Jonathan, uh, to, to, to use the excuse... I mean, we're talking here about allegations of, of tens of thousands of dollars being funnelled into uh, committee members' pockets. We're talking about use of credit cards. You know, these are, are serious allegations. Surely the excuse of, well, it's poor timing, therefore we're not going to investigate it, doesn't wash. Well, Caleb, it doesn't wash. Uh, Andrew's right in that this is an important agency that does important work. All the more reason to have faith in what they do. And the only way we can have faith in what they do is to actually get to the bottom of allegations of this nature. I mean, there are vulnerable people who depend on agencies like this to provide services, to advocate for them, to uh, do the right thing by these remote and vulnerable communities. We've tried to get a Senate inquiry up into these very matters. It's been blocked by Labor and the Greens. I don't know why you'd want to shield the light of uh, uh, transparency from uh, looking into these matters. It needs an investigation so we can have faith in what they do.